This just in, XRP Ripple gets in principal payments licensing in Singapore. XRP lawyer John Deaton states in this interview that we are just mere moments away from a court ruling and Bitcoin Maxi says XRP is a must have in your portfolio for the next bull run. All of these are very promising and bullish sentiments for XRP. Can XRP reach a new all time high of $92.63? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. But just to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor, so be sure to do your own research. So first things first, the timing of this news couldn't have been better just when Bitcoin surpasses 30k again and the market is now bullish. As we can see, Ripple are honoured to obtain in principle approval of a major payments institution licence from the Monetary Authority of Singapore. This will allow Ripple to offer regulated digital asset products and services and scale customers use of on demand liquidity. It seems that every day we are receiving more and more evidence that XRP and Ripple are not the alleged securities that Gary Gensler has claimed. Ripple CEO Brad Garninghouse builds on this tweeting as a major global financial centre Singapore led the way in taking pragmatic innovation first approach to crypto. Ripple is one of a handful of firms which is less than 20 to receive in principle approval for a MAS MPI license for digital payments token services. This is effectively Singapore's way of telling America and the SEC that we trust Ripple and don't deem it as a security. Speaking of which, we are still waiting for an official decision and court ruling from Judge Torres in regards to XRP's long-standing lawsuit. Here I have XRP lawyer John Deaton discussing this further and effectively offering clarity that this Cold War stance will not exceed September 30th. What are your thoughts? Um, do you think we hear something very soon? Yeah, you know, I thought it was interesting. Uh, Mark Fago, uh, who was on my crypto law show with Jeremy Hogan, um, former SEC uh like chief, regional chief, um, a guy who knows the SEC in and out. Um, he, he said two interesting things. One, he said he thought the SEC should win, but he thinks that the SEC may lose. Um, I found that interesting. And he also said he, he expects the decision any day now. Now, I expected the decision before today. Mm. You know, I said that I wouldn't be shocked if it took you know, through the summer, but I would be surprised if we were in June and it was still pending and we're in June and it's still pending. Uh, so I'm also in the camp that we could get a decision today. We could get a decision next week. Uh, I've told XRP holders, I'm really, really confident that the worst case scenario is September. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, and I, I say worst case because some people think it's going to be, you know, next year, right? Yeah. There's some people. Well, if September 30th comes and she hasn't decided, she has to report herself to Congress hmm. and say, I have been waiting to rule on this massively important decision for nine months and I'm still haven't done it. You know, no, it's like a, it's like a, think about that list as like a public shaming list, right? Hmm. You know, and, you know, a judge doesn't want to go on that list because it looks like they're not, he or she's not doing their job and they're not, you know, being diligent. So I'm very confident that Judge Torres would never allow herself to go on that list. So there you have it. XRP should have a verdict or at least a court ruling and some further clarity within the next three months. Will XRP come up victorious? Well, after the recent release of the Hinman documentation and other recent discoveries, it seems all the more likely, as we can see here. Document 831-79, which was filed on the 13th of June 2023, states the following. Based on the above analysis and subject to the qualifications and assumptions set forth herein, we believe out of the data of the memorandum that you have reasonable ground to conclude that XRP does not satisfy all elements of the Howey analysis and therefore is not a security for purposes of the federal securities law. This may be a massive contributing factor as to why Bitcoin Maxi, the crypto rover, is now heavily invested into XRP as you wouldn't want to invest into something that you have 
little faith in that you believe is fighting a losing battle. So the crypto rover, who is a well-known Bitcoin maximalist, predicts XRP and Ripple's legal victory and anticipates a frenzy of XRP FOMO, as we can see here. Ripple will win the case and the XRP FOMO will be insane. The crypto rover has bought a quarter of a million dollars, $250,000 worth of XRP in the past few weeks. He goes on to say that he doesn't have a lot of altcoins in his portfolio now and that Ripple is a must hold for the next bull run. So seemingly the crypto rover is all in on XRP and funnily and strategically enough, he invested and accumulated XRP in the past few weeks around the time that all cryptos were down due to the SEC suing Binance and Coinbase and Robinhood also announcing that they're going to be delisting Polygonmatic, Solana, Codana and so on. XRP, however, have even bigger things planned and America seem to be quickly losing their global financial influence. Ripple are planning to do business in China. The US Federal Reserve Plan Fed now launched on July 1st, 2023 involved three Ripple partner banks being Finastra, Volanti and ACI Worldwide. And Africa may decide to go down a route of true sovereignty by de-dollarizing themselves, which would be detriment to America and the world as we know it. I'll be covering these topics in one of my next videos and you will not want to miss it. And if you want to discover other highly promising altcoins to invest into, check out my recent videos popping up on the screen right now. But remember, it's just a coin and I'll see you in the next video.